Okay, once you've got your bulletin board pretty well set up, or at least ready for day one, it's time to get into topics and building out some containers for your various units that you're going to be teaching over the course of the year. A topic is a container for digital material that you'd like to curate, you'd like to share out for your students and maybe your parents. It can be changeable, can be evolving as you go, doesn't have to be all in place. You can serve them up at different times during the year. You can activate them and deactivate them. They're very flexible. And you can also share them uh, among your different classes if you have multiple sections of them, um, and even uh, between teachers. So you could put a publish a topic into the topic bank and others could use it. So you can get pretty creative with topics. So let's dig in to see how to edit them. So creating a topic, uh, if you have none here, when you go to the topics, you'll start by going to the Create Topic button. We'll give it a title. Um, I want to point out that this area is where you, this is the very high level stuff that you'll be setting up. It is not where you'll be putting all of the content. It will. This is how you set up the preview that will sit in uh, your topics page where they can choose the topics. So this will not be a very lengthy description right here, something like that. And then I'll choose the layout here. I could put a cover photo. This I think is important to do. So I will grab one that I've got an image that I've got over here. I can share this with another class section if I have multiple sections of the same course. Or I can add it to a topic to the topic bank. This might be useful if you're creating one a little bit more universal than what I'm setting up here. Maybe you're doing a topic on fractions. Um, or on how to cite sources, or how to do an effective Google search, or something that you can imagine other people wanting to uh, have in their topic bank, in their topics uh, list. You, so you just uh, so select that and it'll show up for other people to draw, to pull down. Like bulletin boards, you can choose when you publish this, so you can build this out and then publish it at a future date. You can also have it expire, so if you wanted to have it uh, go away after a month or something like that, uh, so that you don't have to go through and manage it manually, that's an option for you. And then you hit save. So once I get this created, then I will go to the edit button. And this will look familiar um, if you've already done some work on the bulletin board. Now I just want to point out that you can get back to that screen that we were on before by clicking the Setup button anytime. But for all the content that's going to live in here, you want to be on the Layout button. These modules here are similar to what you'll see in the bulletin boards, but you can reuse them. So I could have multiple text blocks or videos or embeds. So um, just to go through a couple of these briefly, an audio uh, is an mp3 or some other audio file that you have on your computer that you want to move up there. Um, downloads is if you want to park files that you want kids to be able to pull down, if you have a syllabus or you have some other um, or some other content that you actually have on your computer and you want them to pull down, that's the way to do it. Links is similar to what you saw in the bulletin board for URLs that you're curating. Uh, photos, the same thing, galleries. Text blocks, just generic text if you want to have up there, maybe instructions um, or some uh, uh, other explanations. Uh, videos are referring to video content you actually have on your computer. Embed is how you put a, how you'd embed a YouTube video or something else that's online. Um, and I will have a small feature et on that, on how to uh, do the embed code. Um, horizontal lines and spacers are similar to what you'd find in, um, in bulletin boards. So point these out here, the cover brief um, is what will also show up what is 
showing up on the um, uh, on your uh, the page with all of the different topics on it. You'll notice that what I typed there on that setup page is what shows up here. So I don't know that I need to have it also on this page. Cover image is the same that same image that we put the diver there. The cover title module is the same as what we set up in the setup area, uh, and you can use it as a, a header for your topic. Uh, discussions I will cover a little bit later on. So I'm going to put some content in here. Um, I am going to drag in some text. And I've got some that I prepared over here that we will paste in. You can expand that to see what, uh, what you're working with. Hit save. I could bring in some links. And again, you want to drag up to the top of the column, whichever column you're working with until you see the marquee show up. So if I wanted to put in a link to a specialized site here for this particular unit, for that's what topics are really all about. So then I can go down to the preview take a look. Yeah, this looks like a good start, but we need some images. So let's go back to the editing screen and bring in some photos. Let's start with one photo over here, just show you the difference. Uh, I'll put a photo up here. Between uh, The difference between putting a single photo and a set of them, this creates an album You can allow users to download the images by checking that off. That could be good if you want to queue up a bunch of pictures for like of a field trip you did or something and you want parents to be able to pull them down or students. Okay, I have an image that I'm going to drag into this area. Put a caption on it so you can see what it looks like. We'll save that. I'm going to go to preview. So one image will sort of act as a cover image. If I go to edit that and I drag others in. See that they line up here. And then save that. So when you do a and preview, when I click on that image, it brings up this album. And I can click on this tab to show all the pictures in it. Or go back and see the full-sized images in a rotating gallery. You can hide the details. The details for this are only the um, misspelled labels. Um, so not its strongest feature is what I expect you're deriving from that demo. Um, but it does allow you to put pictures in there. If I put this in to the main body of the page, You'll notice that it does not stretch out unless the picture is really large. It will not fill up that space. Um, so if you want to do pictures across this way, you are probably better off changing your setup to be a, uh, a different style layout, maybe a three column layout with narrower columns. Or you 
have to take those images into Photoshop and change the dimensions, or you could take them into preview and change the dimensions. <clears throat> I'm going to leave that back up here. Now the other thing I wanted to point out was discussions. Uh, actually, let's drag in a horizontal line right here, create a little divider, and then I'm going to put a discussion. And this is kind of like making your page um, a blog. You can, here I'll hit the preview, you'll see. This allows feedback for your page, so you could leave that under a uh, photo gallery, or you could, as part of the uh, project you're working on, you could ask the students to share something. Hopefully a bit more pithy than that, but this is a way for you to have students post questions or feedback either to you or to the class. And of course you have the ability to edit those. I'm going to move a spacer in under this horizontal line and preview it just to show you what it looks like. It gives you some space in there. It's also worth noting that you can co-edit your topics with other teachers. I'm going back to setup. Actually, I'm going to go back to topics in general. This seems to be the best way to get there. If I'm looking at the topic gallery, click on the share button, share with the class section, and you can choose any teacher that is in the system. So if I wanted to work with Nateen on this and choose which of his sections I'm going to share it with, and then click Can Edit, that's going to allow him the ability to also edit this topic. There are some restrictions on it. Um, I think you might be restricted in how and in, in placing the picture and doing some of the setup work, but the content of the topic itself, most of the editing we've been doing, whoever you designate here can also um, edit, and that's could be that can be very useful in editing topics as in in your grade level team or uh, department team members. I'm going to stop this video here. In the next one I will talk about uh, video embeds and audio. Alright, so see you in the next one.